TheReluctantHusband.com. Uh, this week we are going to talk about a very important uh, musician, singer, composer of the early Korean throat sing. Uh, his name is Kim Song-gyu, and he also went by the name of Kim Hae-sung. Uh, Kim Hae-sung, which he's better known by, um, was born around 1910-1911, and he had a very um, mysterious end to his record his living record uh, around 1950. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Now, Kim Hae Song was very talented as a singer, songwriter, guitarist. Uh, he was a stage performer. He was a conductor. He was actually a crossover musician who was able to uh, develop music in many different genres, uh, such as like folk music, uh, minyo in, in Korean, uh, blues, uh, of course, their throat. Uh, jazz and, and pretty much opera and everything else. Um, he was also musically talented with instruments like the saxophone and trumpets, trombones and other ba- brass instruments. Um, Kim Hae-sung, uh, his birth name, uh, Kim Song-gyu, uh, he was born in North Korea, um, and received, you know, the, the amount of education that was available for him at those, in those days. Um, and during his life as a student, uh, his, his gifts for playing the guitar and music were noticed. And by the mid 1930s, so somewhere around his, uh, mid twenties, he had the ability to write music, sing, arrange music, play instruments, and even conduct. He was often called somewhat a, a jazz genius. Um, his debut song by OK Records was in 1935 in which he he wrote and sang a song titled uh, Hangue uh, Sojong, and uh, a song with music written by another famous uh, composer we'll talk about later on. His name is Song Mogin. So as a singer, um, our our featured artist went by the name of Kim Hae Song, and as a composer, he stuck with his birth name, Kim Song Gyu. and, you know, on a previous episode, we talked about uh, Park Hyang-nim. And, uh, in fact, um, Kim Hae-sung composed that song that we featured, Oppa Nen Pung Gak Jengi. Now, uh, around when Kim Hae-sung was about 20, 26 years old, he married a 20-year-old, Yi Nan-young, in 1936. Uh, I think they married like around Christmas or something like that. Uh, and they gave birth or Inan Young gave birth to nine children with seven surviving. Uh, this power couple of music, uh, their influence, uh, spanned over five decades in both Korea and abroad. Uh, this not only includes their careers, but the careers of their children where, uh, two of their daughters, uh, went on to make up two thirds of the Kim sisters who had a, uh, pretty successful, um, career in, uh, Las Vegas and on the Ed Sullivan show. And as we talked about earlier with uh, Kim Hae Song's ability to play many, many instruments, this was also something that, uh, his daughters picked up on his talents. Even his sons were given an opportunity to, um, uh, perform in America. So, um, not only that, but Kim Hae Song's brother-in-law, uh, Yi Nan Young's brother, uh, he was, uh, quite influential and uh, after Korea gained independence from Japan in August 15th, 1945, uh, Kim Hae-sung, he started the KPK Musical Theater, uh, entertaining American troops by singing opera and operettas and even, uh, traditional Korean music. Uh, this musical theater got its name from the initial members of Kim Hae-sung, that's K, uh, Pet Eun-san, that would be the P, and of course, Kim Chung Han would be other the other K. Now, KPK uh, was the successor of the Chosun Music Club, and and that story goes back to uh, Yi Chow and OK Records that we did before. And they were kind of what you think of like uh, the American vaudeville scene, where they traveled around for performing. And during the KPK or Kim Hae Sung's period with the American GIs, they 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 would perform. Uh, for GIs and things like that. 
Now, there's no definite record of, of what happened to Kim Il-sung. You know, some people might say he was a defector. Some people thought that he might have been kidnapped. Obviously, the, his history, the recorded history of him uh, was cut abruptly. But during his lifetime, during his recorded lifetime, uh, he was very influential with many songs, uh, performing, writing, composing, and just changing the sound of Korean throat music at the time, adding big orchestras and such a big sound for such a big uh, personality of Kim Hazel. Good 